sweetness. Sweet he is. Sweet <laughs> it is. This is my machine. I got a few going. Oh, yeah. Let me just make sure. And then I will upload this later to the YouTube channel so that it's. Sure. Like this is just recording from the phone, right? So yes. the sound quality is not the greatest. Oh, yeah. Oh, good call. Good call. No, but yeah, fair. I guess we never really know. <laughs> but this is a good moment. Yeah. This is a good Real moment. Time, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, we don't we don't know. Cool. Oh, look at my big bald head. Hey. Right. Oh, whatever, Ooh. man. Yeah, it really <laughs> shines out that light. Yeah, it's nice. It's I nice. Was gonna, I was gonna. Today I was going to not use the light because it's just well, I have. It doesn't light the subjects up as well. But oh, okay, okay. I think you're just kind of a cozier kind of. Yeah, this is warm, nice. Warm. <laughs> I guess we'll just mute that. It won't mute. Oh, I turned my keyboard off. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Anthony, sweet. Oh, yeah, Thanks man. for coming back, man. Uh, as we were just saying, you were one of my first guests mm. when mm. we started trying this out. Before, no, I think I had the microphone, so I think it was just starting yeah. out to yeah, yeah. try to get a feel for it. And... Mm. Uh, and uh, good, man, huh? it's been, it it seems like a decade. It seems like forever ago. I don't know why, but um, huh. maybe it's just you know where I've been bumping into you here yeah. and there. You've done yeah, yeah, you've yeah. been so generous with your time as far as performance goes. Oh. That that sessions on the river, and I kn I know I've told you this before, and, and probably many people that are watching as well. But when Chris Curry sent me that video. Mm. Um, when it got to the second song, and I can never remember the names of the oh, song. It's the part. getaway. Getaway. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Uh, I filled up. Yeah. I filled up, and <laughs> I, you know wild, I'm not an man. emotional guy normally. Mm. You know, like I mean I can be, mm. but mm -hmm. I don't find that I'm brought to tears that often. Yeah. Um, and the music, I don't know what it is about that song that gets me, man. That yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. got me. And I just was filled with emotions. And it was just so beautiful. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it yeah. just and, uh, it, it moved me uh, very deeply. And <laughs> I even posted yesterday when I kind of teased the interview out is that, uh, well, you've been a really important guy in my life mm. uh, and an influence and strange mm. because I don't know you all that well. I mean, no. we're, we're not buddies. We don't no. like hang out on, on the regular. Um, I like to consider you a friend, obviously. Mm. If you mm. called and said, hey, mm. I need help, I'd be there in a second. Mm. But so mm. you're more of a, it's you know, labels, right? But associate, yep. you know, what do you call them? Um, Acquaintance, yeah, friend, yeah, yeah. you know, they're they're uh, a variations, fellow, fellow traveler, so, yeah, yeah, and yeah. uh, so then, uh, just to you know, I'm new at this yoga thing and I'm really trying to take uh, it seriously because you know, nice I, just, I turned you 50 last year and my yeah. body's li like literally my body's falling apart and I'm not, I'm not healthy in a number of different ways and uh. And, you know, I just, I got frozen shoulder, and then I had this mm. pericarditis last summer, which acted pretty much like a heart attack. Like oh, it intense. was serious. I was in yeah. the hospital for four days. And yeah, yeah. I well. mean, it didn't scare the shit out of me or anything. Everyone was like, oh, I don't, don't you feel like you got a second? Oh, I'm like, no, it didn't really shake mm. me that way. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't a wake up call, it was mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. another thing, right? Right. And so. So the yoga has been good. And that studio, you know, yeah. I've taken yoga before, yoga by Sarah's a friend of mine. She's, of course, sold. And, and moved on uh, out of the community and whatnot. But um, I giggled through that eight-week class with a girlfriend of mine. And, you know, <laughs> actually, it's a, a buddy of mine's girlfriend huh. that I was taking it with. Huh. And um, <laughs> we 
used to walk all the way down. I used to walk. I was on Memora. She was on Richmond, and I walked from Memora and, pick, and walked, and she would pick her up. Like, huh. you know, go together. Say, Come on, and we'd yeah, walk, go. continue walking to yeah, yeah. the yoga studio. And it, I found it, and this is 20 years ago. Oh, wow. And I haven't oh. done it since. Oh, and wow. we okay. had a blast, but we did not we did not take that seriously. We just giggled okay. through <laughs> it. <laughs> and so this <laughs> studio is – and. Um, <laughs> People used to say to me, oh, I don't, I'm yoga by Sarah. I don't, you know, I, I like something more intimate and dark huh. and quiet. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Because huh. it's, she doesn't, she didn't have that atmosphere, certain, certainly on, on okay. Geneva or um, okay. Queenston Street. You could hear and see the cars going by. It was okay. a big picture window, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So the moto's cool. And I always, uh, Carl, a friend, a realtor of mine, used to say, hey, come on, let's take uh, hot yoga, yoga by Sarah, you know, and I had a scholarship, I could go any time, because right. she was my friend, you know, she, you know, she, oh, great. I had a, like an unlimited, like, just go, and I never used it, I never did. and I used to tell Carl, now I think I need to do the normal yoga before I go into the hot room, okay, and now I understand the hot room's like 102 degrees, I know, and I, I know. can only get halfway through a class, dude, yeah, I can't. I have to. I get to where they start going into the flow with yep. the, the, the downward dog kind of into the plank, oh, yep. into the downward facing dog, into down to the plank, and then they're and raising up, up again. and then oh my, it's so beautiful to watch. I I really haven't attempted that one yet, but because by that time I told mm -hmm. Eric today that taught us, and then yesterday I took a six thirty a.m. class, oh, which was weird. Up at four thirty, yeah, like weird. Like <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> And the stuff that comes out of you in that room. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gassed. And I told Eric today, the taught today, I said, by the time I get to the second half of the program, like I haven't practiced the back end of the program, mm -hmm. the second half, because I'm you too will. gassed. You will. I'm too in gassed time. by that time. <laughs> it's so. nice that there's freedom there to, to pause whenever you wish. Yeah, it's a nice, it's quiet and dark and yep. tranquil. And then, yep. oh, man. You know, you had the sounds of your guitar and voice oh. there, and I joked yesterday on Facebook after I teased it out <laughs> in the comments section. I read I'm like, it. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, like, yeah. comment. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Come on, yeah. participate, uh, would you? Yeah, uh, I joked. No. Uh, I, I was trying to think of a way I could <laughs> say I showered with Anthony Sweet yesterday, which wasn't really true. Uh, but I was in the shower when you know, that's and, right. You know, any communal that's right. shower or and in, folks in can the take that as they or want. Whatever. I came out and there was a guy, a uh, uh, bearded guy. I don't, I don't know anyone's name yet because I'm, I'm I'm really not there to meet anyone. Right. Um, but I came and they tell you to take your practice out into the into the world. Into the too. world. So yes, I'm not like da, 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 like when right. I get out of there, I'm You're still quiet. in chill mode, right? Right. And so uh, when I passed you, you were going in. I was coming out of the shower, and you started to you know sing and and. Uh, you know, the acoustics in the shower. They always say the acoustics yeah. in the shower is the best, right? Yeah, I yeah, said to, yeah. I said to Buddy, I said, he's just showing off now. <laughs> like, he's seri seriously, man. There wasn't enough in the room. Now he's got the acoustics in the shower. Yeah, I didn't go on man. that much. I just said, oh. he's just showing off now. He laughed you know anyway. What? So it was such a blessing oh. and such a beautiful experience to, um, to be that present to hmm. the body and mm -hmm. the breath yeah. and the sweat. Yeah. And then, and then. I told uh, Eric today, when I become a mouth breather, I'm mm -hmm. very in tune with with mm. when I can't breathe through my nostril, yeah, my my nose anymore because, well, there's not enough airflow. Yeah. So yep. I'm really on a journey with that, and uh, you know, I joked the first time I went was you were there, mm -hmm. and that was that was the reason I went. Wow, Anthony wild. Sweet is playing, and wild. it was really yeah. cool. So I love you, man. I appreciate oh. your. Your gift and you know uh, and it's your generosity and your time. So thanks, thanks for welcome, coming. Man. You know, it's it is uh, it's it, it is a blessing to to sing there. You know, I I look forward to it. You know, and I, I that I'm, I'm able to, to be in a space and 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 share in that way. Like it does something for me too. You know, mm. it brings me into a space of calm and and uh, and 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 just recognizing okay, what's happening in the room. You know, people are, are you know, reconnecting, you know, with their bodies and and and, uh, and how how good that is for me. You know, I've started taking yoga as well since I started singing there, and and, uh, and just redirecting like thankfulness towards my body. So long, it's been a it's been a bit of a journey, you know, accepting 
form, you know, mm-hmm. and then realizing that I'm more than that. Identity. You know, you yeah, get caught up in that. You really, oh, I do. Eric spoke about that today. It was b- brilliant. You know, Helpful. And, and the conversation they have before and after is yes. really intentional and beautiful. Yeah. And it's not profound in the sense that you, it's nothing you don't already know. Right. You know, right. you know the steep. We're reminded. And yeah, and it's, it's so, so great to have that. Uh-huh. And it's like you don't know. Like right. today he was talking about don't wipe off the sweat, you know, you, mm-hmm. you close the glands when you do that and you make yourself hotter. Oh, mm. he says, plus, if you feel an itch and I do this, I try to do this even if I'm just laying in the pool. Yeah. You got this, this you can feel this little thing that needs to be scratched right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. the game is to see if you can just what it's let not it going to kill you. Right. If you can let it go, it's your mind I know. screwing with you. <laughs> and That's if you can practice. do, if yeah, if you can mm-hmm. practice getting over because mm-hmm. it's not really there. Mm-hmm. Like it's not. And it's it not will a go fly away. biting you. It's not. Right. Yeah. And it and it, will, it, it will does leave. dissipate yep. as your mind yep. lets it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's really wild. It's so yeah, it, it is wild. Like I mean, I I expect to be learning until I die. But this is this has been something where I, like it's it's not information overload, but it's um a grace and wisdom that mm. I've you know I've never I haven't experienced at that level or mm. that uh, I feel like it's not surface, like it's internal mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like when you work out that mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. In 102 degrees, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a cool shower doesn't do oh. the trick. You sweat all the way home, right. and then some. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, uh, it's mm. spi- and I I wonder, like, I wondered if I would like the music in the yoga yeah. because uh, I w- would I find it distracting, and then mm-hmm. I found myself mm. singing along. Why? With your music, because I know it so well. Right. And it wasn't a, a distraction, huh? No, no, I don't find it that way at all. But I just wonder about your participation and how, like, I know you, you must have a, a series of songs that's working for you. Yeah. But just intentionally playing something because of something you see in the room. I wonder mm. how much room you give yourself mm. to change or mm-hmm. soften mm-hmm. or just go silent mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. take a long break because yeah. of something yeah, yeah. you see there. It's yeah. really, it's um, it's fascinating to me to see how it's like the telephone thing or the dominoes. If this doesn't happen, then that all that stuff wouldn't ha- have happened. Mm. And mm-hmm. I, I just wonder how your intention might fluctuate and become flexible as far as what's going on in the room yeah, or are you yeah. just doing a set just a normal no, set just I like think anything it else it makes it more special if i try and be sensitive to what's happening around mm-hmm. you know what i mean if i'm like part of something you know mm-hmm. no and, that makes uh, sense uh, uh and and to a certain degree like i i do have a group of like a list of songs that i enjoy singing you know and that feel good you know um but songs that that have a message of of you know whether it's self love or uh, nice um, yeah self love or or just encouragement of some form you know talking about talking about love talking about sharing you know songs that redirect our our attention back to uh, back to loving ourselves you know or loving other people like that kind of mm. message is is something that I ch- try and try and shoot for but uh also just trying to come into the space with like a clean slate me like just Mm -hmm. being as present as possible so that even it might just be the sound that comes out it it could be healing you know so just trying to focus on on my own connection with with uh something that is beyond me you know and 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 just reminding myself you know by being there and by singing that uh i am also loved you know and 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 then when i am i think when i'm reminded of that and then it's more powerful the experience Mm. i think you know uh and so that's that's what i try and and i'll sing a song and usually usually as i'm singing that song the next one will kind of pop into my mind okay you know usually and i'll be like okay so that's 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 the next one but giving myself freedom to uh to to stop a song maybe after a verse, you know, or or to to s- you know to change, you know, I'm I'm free, 
You know, there's no like you have to be. There's no you have to very do little this. structure. Uh, right. Well, I mean, there's a lot of structure, and then there's not. And they give you the grace and the freedom just to, to really drink whenever you want. To yeah, sit oh. down, and I'm really so glad because I'm, you know, kind of macho type. You know, I'm a man, yeah. and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna push this through. Oh, it. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna you know, and I'd yeah. end up passing out or yeah. being sick inside the room because that's I won't it. leave or I won't stop and. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying I would have done that, but that's kind of, I'm competitive, yep. you know? Um, yep. And the first class, uh, I think it Meow taught it, mm-hmm. and she said, if you need to rest, you can just lie down it on yeah. your mat, you go into Shavasana, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. feel free to stop or drink or yeah. do whatever you, yeah. like, they're, you know, and I'm really grateful for that because... They continue to, and this sounds like it's maybe a commercial for Moto uh, Yoga, and I don't mind it's doing that. No, it's I like ricochet either. water, it's man. Yeah, it's the best yeah, water yeah. around. They don't pay me to say shit, but right, like it's right. good stuff. It's good. It comes from the heart. It's like, and they, the, talked about they it. continue <laughs> to create that space of grace mm-hmm. and freeness mm-hmm. where there's nothing wrong here. Mm-hmm. You know, you can, you can dig into that pose and crouch a little lower mm-hmm. it doesn't mm-hmm. make you a better person or a worse person mm-hmm. if you can't mm-hmm. get there mm-hmm. or you mm-hmm. fall out of it i fell out mm-hmm. of a tree three four times oh, today man. yeah i love yeah. tree yeah, yeah same. and it's ralph wonderful. said yesterday oh i can do tree for three quarters of an hour in front of the you know doing the dishes at my house but you get me in the room right and it becomes different it right, becomes right, a right. challenge right? right and so it's uh mm. it, I'm, I'm glad that they created that graceful Yep. space for you too because yep. you know mm. i don't think too many of us are going to say did he just switch songs mm. like <laughs> <laughs> did he just go from uh mm-hmm. oh, blackbird into whatever you know <laughs> what i mean like, uh, we're not going to notice <laughs> we, we just noticed the beauty coming from you and, uh, then, that's, that's and i think your intention is really <laughs> broadcast in there too right uh. and um you know i wasn't always good at picking up energy from people you know, yeah. you know when somebody's being a dick, but you sure. don't realize sure, sure, sure. what their energy is, if it's hurt or whatever it is. Right, right. You know? Why, why, yeah. And so, sense. yeah, I've been, uh, you know, uh, it's funny. One of the first class I came out, they asked me how I liked it. And I, I, uh, she says, well, how was that? I said, horrible. It was, a, yeah, that was a complete nightmare. I just came for Anthony. Like, seriously. I am such a fan. <laughs> you were sitting there when I said I it to her. Suffered. I can't remember who, who was the girl. I can't remember the girl at the front desk. Uh, uh, she was, oh. she was there the first time, and she, I mean, she works a very n- nice girl. I wish I could remember her. Sorry, I don't remember her name. So okay. And I said, no, seriously, I I like this guy that mm-hmm. much. I'm such a fan that the, uh, like, Man. I'd sit through sixty minutes <laughs> of hot yoga in 102 degrees <laughs> and 90 percent humidity uh, to wow. be with anthony sweet yeah that's that's uh, yeah so i, I appreciate uh, that yeah how did you how did you get picked up by well, yoga yeah i mean by by the um did you have friends a of mine there? yeah friends of mine suggested We're practicing uh yeah yep yeah. i had a friend quite a f- quite a few years ago okay um, so they've always had music yoga mm, oh, they no? think they might have oh okay um but when did i i probably started singing there Maybe a wow, a year and a half ago, perhaps. Wow, okay. Perhaps. Wow. And then, uh, yeah, that was on Saturdays, Saturday nights. Okay. When it was still uh, uh, moksha. Yeah, yes, moksha, yeah. moksha. I was trying to remember. <laughs> yes, but um, yeah, I think there was some sort of a corporate rebranding, and most okay. of them went with Moto, and and some stayed moksha. I, okay. I think. But uh, yeah, okay. I find it to be a very. Uh, a very um i don't know how to describe mm. it a peaceful place mm-hmm, mm-hmm, almost like mm-hmm. a church would be mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, like a forgiving mm-hmm. peaceful yeah, yeah, yeah. loving place yeah. yeah yeah you know like i uh, yeah i find there's a sacred vibe to it yeah it's cool yeah like just acceptance there's acceptance of the people that come through the door you know and 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 a mindfulness and, uh, yeah you can make a mistake mm-hmm. you know it's not about doing it right or comparison you know Mm. I have that. Look at the other people. I can't shut doing. my mind down at all. Uh, I'm learning, but yeah, uh, it's, it's just not yeah, working. And that's it, right? We learn as we go. Mm-hmm. And and I think the key, or probably one of the keys, is is gentleness with ourselves. Like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, I'm losing balance. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. You know, yeah. Not really. I'll just 
So tell me a little bit about the song that you wrote based yeah. on your experience. Oh, yeah. Like I yeah, know yeah, yeah. I've heard it many times, including at the church. Wow. Um, like guys, if you're listening to this on YouTube or watching on YouTube, go over and check out Anthony Sweet at St. Thomas Church. Just mm. right off my cell phone mm. and a tripod, mm-hmm. the acoustics in that <laughs> place were <laughs> it unbelievable. It's an amazing space. Yeah. yeah. And so what's the th- song? Is it? Uh, it's called, oh, I just, you, you know You haven't what? named um, it yet. I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay. No, no. Uh, it's just about loving your body, you know. Yeah, my body I was going to say. Loving my body, loving, you know, just yeah. encouraging people to, you know, sometimes. That I just, just came out of the practice? Or yeah. Out of the practice? Yeah, I think so. Did you well, I think so. do it while you were in the room? Or? I do sing it while I'm in the room. I do. I know yeah. that you didn't write it as, like, one day it just came to you type of thing. You sat down and constructed um, like most songs. It was one of those tunes that probably came in the, in a matter of minutes. You know what I mean? They just sometimes, so, oh, sometimes a no, song I, I find horribly difficult it, uh, time putting words down, and so do I at times. So do I, and and then there's other times where it's it just kind of drops out of the sky, and uh, and then is is completed, however simple or complex, in a matter of minutes, which is kind of bizarre, and I'm just reminded that. Man, it's something coming through me, and and uh, and I get to sing it, mm. you know. And it's people get to listen. It's almost like a product of the universe, and you're yeah. just a vessel. Yeah, because it's, it's weird. It's, it's, and it's mine, you know. Uh, I get I get to enjoy the singing process, you know, mm-hmm. of the tune, and and uh, and I like the the words that have kind of come together. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I wrote it, and then probably the day after I sang it at. At a class, mm-hmm. but uh, um, I think the class encouraged me to to write a song like that, oh. like just being there and having some pretty w- wild kind of moments where uh, just re- redirecting thankfulness while I was practicing yoga there, okay. thing like just being thankful for my body and 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 crying, like just really like, whoa. and it would just come kind of come out of nowhere. And the emotions would, while you were practicing. Yeah, while I was practicing. I've heard that. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't experienced it yet. But oh, it's all right. It's, yeah, it just comes special. from nowhere and yeah, overtakes from nowhere you. and just oof. And, and I guess uh, that's not all that uncommon either. No, lots of people have spoken it's, it's to me. It's lovely, about. you know. So I think, yeah, that kind of just got me thinking about okay, how can I maybe write? I don't know, write a song. Express yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Be thankful. In a way that's encourage other people to be thankful, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and that yeah, yoga is yeah, d- being more attentive of our bodies, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, they do a lot for us. <laughs> and we abuse the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a kind yeah, way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, I'm there too sometimes. So. Um, um, yeah. Do you want to play that one? I can, oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let me just. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, play that just one. give me a second. Oh yeah, you take your time. For take your time. Go through one piece. Hope you can catch this later on YouTube. Where I'll sound better. <laughs> Maybe get you better mic for your guitar. No oh, sure. Maybe want to just introduce it a little bit. Sure, sure. So it's it's uh. Thanks, Jim. Well, thanks, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice sitting down here. Um, but yeah, the song is doesn't really have a title as of yet, folks. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it's about loving your body, and uh, and that that's important. <laughs> yeah, to redirect positive energy towards our form, you know. Um, at the same time, realizing that we're more than our bodies. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll sing it for you. You good to go, man? Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
like to dance Love you My body And I'll give You My full attention With you I'd like to dance Case oh, we get a call. call. <laughs> well, do, yeah, it would be popping in. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, you can't have that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> awesome. Well, you remember to go airplane mode before we broadcast, <laughs> and then I'll end up, you know, about well. an hour or an hour in, and my brother <laughs> will call me because he's about the only. He's <laughs> and he takes the brunt of my. Uh, what? Uh, you? What are you calling me for? Oh man! Yeah. You yeah. knocked me out of my recording. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you call and all, but uh, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, that was uh, very cool, and um, it's. Uh, I don't know. So it's strangely, such a, a clean, clean sound yeah. in that room too. So, mm. anyways, tell mm. us uh, maybe mm. start off with a little bit of an intro. Yeah, you know, kind of scoot through your life a little bit as far yeah, as yeah, 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 who you oh, are and where you've been. There's really good things going on now. Yeah, we'll nice. end with that. Yeah, all right, <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, that's the uh, end. <laughs> um, the beginning. No, I mean, oh. as far as the intro goes, let's kind of finish up in the present day. Tell us about you know. Where you from? Sure. I got to meet your parents at the last gig. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so grateful for them. I think they thought I was kind of fanboy a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's I'm like, matter. I love your son. <laughs> I, didn't, you know, I didn't really expect them to go, well, we love him too. Well, really? Oh, <laughs> duh. Is that what they said? <laughs> yeah, your mom said that. My mom? I oh, said, I well, just love your fair. son. She says, oh, I love you your love mom. Him too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where am I from? Um, missionary kid. So I was a missionary kid over in Germany. So that was where I was born. Not born. I was born here. Born here, but uh, raised over there. So missionary kid meaning? Uh, my dad was a teacher at a little boarding school, like a Christian boarding school okay. down in the south end of Germany. So that was that was home for like 20 years. Yeah. Um, you speak? I do. Oh, and bisschen schon. Ich kann schon ein bisschen Deutsch. I'm fascinated by German. the German language. Yeah, it's, it is lovely. I, I like it. And I... I miss I miss being there, but uh, it's good. It's good. So that was that was home for for many years. Um, yeah, move 
moved into the music pretty early, you know. Maybe Family sh- musicians? Uh, yeah, my dad is a piano player. My mom's a singer. As in just singing, singing in, you know, church a lot. That's that's where we sang a lot, or I sang a lot. And now, where are their roots? Um, uh, here. Okay. They're from here. Okay. Uh, my mom, uh, kind of Vineland. All right. Uh, Grimsby, my dad, Deansville, like okay. around, around that end. Um, and we met here. And uh, and then when they were about 30, they moved over to Germany. And started. my dad started teaching there. So I was two. I was young. But I, I was raised over there, you know, in the German, low German community, you know, really close to the Swiss border, you know, so the nature was amazing, amazing. And, and, uh, and the, uh, the, our community was good. It was good. So that was that was home for, for many years. And then I came back here when I was early 20 and uh, early 20s and uh, tasted a lot of different cities, you know, just moved, moved and lived and and a little restless you know a restless spirit oh, the 20s yeah 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 and into the 30s uh but uh now now there's more of a contented vibe you know I, I, it's good to be where i am you know mm-hmm. and accepting that but uh that took a while i think and and i did a lot of you know moving and 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 just kind of letting the wind blow me around you know and and uh and it was good. It was good. It was what it was. You know, there are definitely some tricky moments. You know, life is interesting. Um, but, uh, huh. and those would be such as, you know, back surgery when I was 21 and, and how that affected my life. But uh, but also, you know, it's these these moments that, that are difficult not to uh, not to see myself as a victim, you know. Um, but uh, it was an, an experience that I went through and, and it shaped me. And, it, and for that, I'm thankful. You know, um, and and I, I try and see that in life, you know, the, the various experiences that I have, whether they be good or not, you know, they they are experiences that I have. And I can choose what to do with them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's strange. Uh, in my men's group, they often speak about how much a blessing is uh, in the hard times. And mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, enough of the hard times already. Okay, I think I don't need to learn any more freaking <laughs> lessons. Okay, <laughs> um, but I think the lessons are mixed with really, really wild little moments that are really good. And you're not always present to how your tragedy could be mm-hmm. a blessing for someone else. For instance, I'm at church the other day mm-hmm. out of nowhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Derek Abraham's comes up to me and says, oh, "I was just talking about you." I said, "Oh yeah, probably nothing good." I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. And he huh. goes, "No," he says. Uh, huh. Just talking about, you know, our journey and mm. how tragedy can be a blessing and how yep. sometimes you don't see it that way. And then he right. says, I, I often speak of you, at, you know, coming uh. to this church through Brooke's, uh. Brooke's funeral. Now, Brooke yep. was his daughter and she was four. Okay. And it, it can never, I can't even imagine bearing a child. If I just, I don't have a child, obviously, but, um, mm. and he spoke mm. about how that, I mean, she she was she had some s- very significant issues since birth, so, okay. so it wasn't unexpected. Okay. In fact, the fact that you know, the fact that she made it to four was actual like way longer than they wow. expected her to okay. live. I think, and it was cool. a challenge. And and my mother just kind of said, "Are you going hmm. to Brooks for Derek and Sue?" And mm. I went, "Were you okay? I'll go if you are. Mm. I'll ride mm-hmm. over with mm-hmm. you." Mm-hmm. And then, do you want to go to the gravesite? Well. I'll go if you're going. Okay, well, we went to the gravesite, mm-hmm. and then I was moved enough that at the gravesite to wait until everyone had gone through to go up and say I love you guys. Like I didn't even mm-hmm. know him until I, uh, I I love people genuinely, uh, genuinely anyways, and I, I don't have a problem saying I love you. I try to say it mm-hmm. to everyone that comes in here and everyone. Mm-hmm. That, it's you know, really it's good one to of my hear. A lot of people don't yeah. hear it, and right. it's yeah. it's come on. I love people. You know what yep. I mean? So it's not yep. hard. To, and he was saying about, you know, here's this horrible situation, the funeral of our daughter, and mm. how it became like, otherwise you wouldn't be standing here right mm. now. And now I'm video director at the church. It's all volunteer. Yeah. I love it. It's like, it's, it's almost, it's almost a high like being on the radio was. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. I don't come out of here going, oh, yeah, I just nailed that one. I feel kind of like, you know, 
It's a basement <laughs> studio for crying out loud. Everyone's got one. Everyone broadcasts from their phone. Anyone can sh- yeah, the head looks good. But you got shave their head share, and all that. You know what I mean? Like, so no, but when I used to come off the radio station, <laughs> I'd be high as a kite on my Sundays or my fill-in mm. shifts or whatever. It didn't matter what happened that day. You couldn't knock me off my game. I was yep. just that amped. Yep. And when I come out of church after pulling a four, like, yeah. it's no joke. I mean, we're there at chords, well, 7 o'clock. The band's yep. there at 6. Yep. Uh, production gets there at 7, quarter after, quarter two, depending on your position. Uh, we have a talk through, then a rehearsal, a run through, like a literal run through. You know, mm-hmm. the, the pastor doesn't say his whole thing, but mm-hmm. we do mm-hmm. all, every song, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. lights, mm-hmm. it's all yep. verbatim. And then we have breakfast. Then we have quiet time in oh, the nice. in, yeah. Oh, they that's feed cool. us yeah yep. in community. It's cool because there's 25 or 30 of us in that room eating, and we're all not all the same table. But you every week you sit with someone yep. different, and yep. it's so it's so cool. And then we have quiet time in the auditorium. I guess they call it where we have our services. Huh. You know, it's time for it's prayer nice. or reflection. Being just, there before just before it happens. Yeah. Then we have yeah, a group yeah. huddle. And we go into the five-minute countdown, and then boom, we do a nine, ten, thirty, and noon, and they're an hour. We're like we're, we try boom, to finish boom, right boom, on time. We're yeah. religious about finishing on time. Right. And so wow. it's it's a serious thing. So I I don't mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I can't I can't go I can't I don't not that I want to or even do anymore. I'm not out Saturday nights. I'm not drinking Saturday nights. I'm yeah. not playing cards with my buddies Saturday nights because I, I got a commitment. It's like see. yoga. Yes. It kind of it gets in your head. Yes. I'm at the dock the other day, and my buddy says, oh, I'm there, Budweiser, right? I'm like, dude, I got to, no, I'm going to hot yoga. Mm-hmm. Well, you can have a beer before yoga. I'm like, yeah, I could if you want to be burping it up, and the guy next to you is going to mm-hmm. be like, um, dude, mm-hmm. like, come yeah, on. Yeah. And, and then like, well, he says, well, right uh, yeah, you know, uh. feel free, help yourself to the meatballs. I'm like, I don't want to be like, digesting. Yes. When you're I'm bending in the room. around. No, no like no. it really gets in your head. And so it's similar <laughs> to the church thing, right? Mm. And so anyways, when I come out of there, I'm like, I'm amped. Yep. Even if I've screwed yep. up, yep. I still feel like I did a good job because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting better at it. And mm. it's like playing an instrument. Like mm-hmm. I switch five or six cameras. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so you've got to tell them where to go, like what wow. shot to get, yep. when to go, like, okay, give me something else, camera one, two, give me the bass player, three, uh, can I get a close-up of Mel? And so you're wow. telling them what to do, and wow. then you switch. And you don't just switch like this. Like the right. first times I switched like that, I couldn't even watch it. So there's a real art to it. There's a real artistry hmm. to it, and uh, hmm. I love it. So, hmm. you know, it's just another example of how somebody's tried to somebody's yeah. personal yeah. tragedy uh, becomes a blessing yeah. for them and other people. Yeah. And, w- and sometimes yeah, you yeah, don't, yeah. you're not even present to it. So, no. yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. I like how Yeah. And so w- when you were talking about that, are you specifically talking about your back um, w- being seen as a victim? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think so, you know, being, it's being, easy to being do less it. a man because I, I know I can't, um, I c- I'm not, I, I can't lift as much. You know, because of this, and and having to, you know, explain it to people like, oh, can you move this for me? Mm. Can you lift this for me? You know, because I'm a guy. And mm. I got to pop back. Man, I, I got to explain. Yeah, I can't. I'm not able to. And mm-hmm. and 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 just being okay with that. Mm. Being like, yeah, that's. And at the same time, like, uh, honoring my own body, you know, through working out. That kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's like you it's can't eat junk food all no, day and then just no. pray for health, right? You know, well like you it have feels to, you good have to, to be good to ourselves, and you have to do yeah. what you're in control of to try and right make sure that you're in a healthy place. You can't that's just right. say, "Oh, my back's screwed," and that's all there is to it. No, you no it's like this is what I got. Okay, how can I work with it? Right? You know, how can and, I and help it out? That's right. So it's 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 good, you know, letting stuff go and. And, uh, um, yeah, like a lot of in the past was a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of moving around and not really having community, you know, yes, there was community at certain points, you know, at schools that I went to or at churches that I was involved in, like singing or, um, but, but since I've been back here the last about seven years, I've just 
pushing into the space here, mm. pushing into the friendships here and, and the things that are going on. You know, so many, so many good things going on and being a part of it. It it's good. It feels good. You know, mm. to have have a have a place and have have genuine connection with people. You know, you, you wander around town now and, and you know, you run into folks, I run into folks that I know and it's like, Oh, you know, you're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere you know you can actually build a friendship and it's mm, like interesting yeah and it's like oh wow this is kind of nice so when you came back what kind of communities did you go to school or did I like, did, did I did m- where did um, you move around with um I was here for Tad uh and then schooling wise I went out to a pretty uh it was called Briarcrest <laughs> it was out in Saskatch- uh, Saskatchewan Saskatchewan yeah outside of Moose Jaw a tiny tiny very conservative school out there and i was only there for three months <laughs> <laughs> but but i met some amazing people while i was there and i was able to be a part of some pretty cool singing groups you know so that was that was that was good i just oh i was like you know what i don't i don't this isn't my my bag what wasn't what wasn't working for you um i think at that time i was already begin to beginning to uh explore my own sexuality you know and and my uh the idea of god that i that i was raised in was slowly falling apart you know so i was like well it's well so it was christian school yes oh, okay yes yes conservative christian yep and really secluded like way out moose jaw was a half an hour away and moose jaw i don't know how big it is but it's not huge Fifty thousand, maybe what grade uh grade yeah, like oh, oh. Uni- oh, it was, university? yeah, university. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was university. I was, I was, I was at the time. I was uh, early twenties. Yep, yep. Uh, twenty, twenty four, twenty five. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had been uh, involved at Southridge and before that Fairview Louth, like the the a church in town, mm-hmm. uh, singing a lot and playing in their bands, and it was yeah. it was fun. Oh yeah, it was our fun. bands are yeah. awesome. Oh, at yeah. church man, I mean, they're really good. And there's something <laughs> strange about. Hey, I'm never been religious. I grew up Catholic. Mm, you know, mm-hmm. I don't even now consider myself religious. Like you don't ever hear me mm. talking mm-hmm. God mm-hmm. unless mm-hmm. it's somebody pretty intimate and they're yep. open to it. I don't push that. My dad yeah, used yeah, to call yeah. them Bible thumpers. And yep. I'm not that guy. That I, I don't want to be that guy. Yep. I take my faith seriously and I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, private yeah. about it. But when I'm talking about, you know, Rock and roll, pretty church, which I call Central. That's where I go. <laughs> Geneva and Scott there, yeah. because it's right. It's a like Greg Sykes oh. used to run the band. I mean, he, like he was the worship leader there, okay. and he had, he's got to have three hundred worship songs. Like y- you never hear the same song. Wild. Like even in a year, he's got so I many know, tracks. Right? Wow, that he's writing. And he's a beautiful man. Mm-hmm. I think he's a, a mm-hmm. nice boy. Like, a, you know, I don't know him that well, but what I do know of him, I like very much. And, you know, yeah. my niece and I used to go together and we'd be we'd sit in a second row and we'd fight to be who's lined up in front of Greg because we call it the Greg Sykes show. <laughs> and it's it's still wait, wait, dr- Justin and Melanie Dreger right now. They do an amazing job mm-hmm. as well. Uh, the mm-hmm. talent on the stage is great. It's very diverse. Mm-hmm. And it's uh uh, it's beautiful, but there's something about working with Christians. Yeah, like you know, they all have this backbone. Mm. And I'm not saying they're any different than anyone else, but at least you mm-hmm. know they believe in a in mm-hmm. a specific higher power. Mm-hmm. Like I think mm-hmm. almost, mm-hmm. I think a great mm-hmm. majority of the people mm-hmm. believe that there's yeah. something on the other side. Like yeah. you just don't go into the dirt and that's it. Like this, right. this, this universe just wasn't created by chance. Big yes. Bang. The, there had to be a something else to kind of say, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, even if, even if you, even if you, you subscribe to the alien ant farm mm-hmm, theory, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. still a higher power, mm-hmm. which would be your God. Mm-hmm. You know, you're mm-hmm. a Petri dish. Here you go. Earth, right. so funk. an experiment. Like mm-hmm. and uh, man, we watched this. We watched the moon come up the other night over Lake Erie, and I'm like, you can't, yeah, yeah. you can't look at that and not believe in a higher power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah, that's yeah. fucking magic. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. And, and so, and my oh, a buddy mm-hmm. of mine always said he's an electrician. He says, Jimmy, the Christians at work, they're all good people. Yeah, they, you know, they yeah. got a clean mouth. They don't, they don't cheat. They don't yeah, steal. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they're good. Yeah. They're not better than anyone else, but it's just. 
having that underlying commitment I found is, is kind of cool because everyone's rowing in the same mm-hmm. direction, mm-hmm. right? They're all there for a higher purpose yep. th- for the most part, you know? Yep. So yep. interesting yep. to yep. hear you talk about that in your experience, especially at that age. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you, you speak to exploring or mm-hmm. A, mm-hmm. A, a being, well, I don't know about kind your sexuality at that time. Yeah. That's not working in that environment. Or no, it's a little tricky. It's mm. a little tricky, but I, I ran into, you know, just, just ex- uh, coming out as gay was, or, and I hate labels. I'm not mm-hmm. a fan of labels. You know, um, I've been with both men and women in my life and, and, and people are beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right, and yeah. so it's like, well, but, um, but yes, being attracted to men was, was definitely tricky. Uh, yeah. You know, growing up where it was so, we were so immersed in, 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 in the Bible and, 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 mm-hmm. uh, you know, the word of God, you know, the only, the only word, right. That kind of thinking and, 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 and that's how it was. That's how it was. You know, um, I think what, what I got to like, what I, in a sense took with me from that experience or those years of submersion like that was that there there is something bigger than myself and and I can have an intimate connection with this now that's what I took that it's very personal mm-hmm. you know but very big you know uh, and that's yeah I've taken that along and it's it is a, it's a mystery you know, it's sure. a mystery, mm-hmm. but uh, to me, it's a it's an intimate mystery. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's cool. I, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Um, I've become a better listener in this setting mm. because mm. the radio station is difficult. You had bumpers to hit. You had oh, commercials sure. to take every quarter. Oh man, I was getting sliced up. And I guess in broadcast school, they teach you right off the bat, like the best interviewer is the one that actually listens. Mm. And I found that I'm so worried about the technical aspect. Mm. Like, yeah, like I have my neck or, uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, once the commercial <laughs> yeah. coming up to, are we still broadcasting? You know, did anyone, you know, <laughs> you know, very often I'll go behind the camera and make sure we're still recording. Like sure, I haven't sure. run out of memory or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and at sessions mm. on the river, we talked about this, and I think mm. it 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 kind of went over my head mm. until afterwards. I, mm. I I played it back, and I said, "Oh, I didn't get that. Mm. Like I, I didn't I didn't get that. I yeah. mean, we didn't talk about it as specifically in in depth. I think he kind of just kind of kind of cruised over it a little it bit. A little, but then yeah. after I watched, I went, "Oh, jeez, that like I could have been more sensitive there. Ah. Not more sensitive, but just a better listener, yep. maybe, or yep. like, oh, I didn't get that, I and." Get that. Yeah. You know, um, so I appreciate your honesty mm. about that. It's, uh, you know, I, and I hate the labels too. I mean, people are beautiful. Yeah, right? it's and, like, man. And we're all yeah. the same. And this is, I don't want to get political, but, you know, th- there's such this this hate for Trump right now. Mm. Mm. And mm. I, I try to, well, I find him in intensely amusing. And I, when he was elected, <laughs> I made a deal with myself, and I've been very disciplined. About mm. it, and it hasn't taken much effort at all. Mm. I just agreed. I made a deal. I'm not going to waste any of my hate on this guy. Oh, I'm not going to yeah, create yeah. more call. of it. I'm not going to redirect any of my existing hate, the hate that I've got. I like where it's placed. You know, I hate yeah. certain things. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, like I said yesterday, yeah. you hate cancer. You hate right, pedophilia. Right. You know, whatever. Right, you right, hate, right, right, you know, right. There's a certain violence, powerful racism, energy. bigotry. You can mm-hmm. hate all kinds of things that are healthy. Um, and um, I tried to gently, without getting political, remind people that you're more like Trump. You're more like Trump than you are different than Trump because mm-hmm. we're human. We're, mm. It doesn't matter what our hair color is, what yeah. our mental illnesses that we suffer from, what whatever our religion is or whatever you like you're more like him than mm. you are uh, you're different than mm. him mm. and mm. and it's the hypocrites the loud ones like right now bet midler's going off like crazy oh. and she's kind of hilarious the way she's doing it but she's got this trump derangement syndrome or the madonnas that stand at the women's march and say I think about bombing the president of the White House mm. every day. And you don't see how you're just doing what he does. Like, I think right. he trolls a little bit. Like, 
Like I think he tries to wind people up. Whoa. He's he's fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's good at it. And I guess there and are he those winds that people will bite. up, and then and these people that are so opposed to him don't realize that they're doing exactly back to him. Like we're uh, it holding that energy all the time. Yeah, that can't be good for you. No, and so this whole idea of um, there's one race. The mm. human race. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, we don't yeah. see it all that way. I know. And I, know and I don't know. There's a certain evolutionary no. oh. pattern of bigotry and well, yep. well, stranger danger and the different colors. Different yeah. Yeah. Different absolutely. religions. We can't trust them. Mm. And they have certain um, proclivities, which are accurate yep. in some cases. Fair. Like, yeah. You know, like but some national, uh, some races, if you're going to say that, some nationalities or some. Uh, nationalities i guess or ethnicities are better at different things big deal like who cares well, man? <laughs> just like men i and like women. uh the thought like for me I, I i try to think you know that that everything is is another face of the divine you know so everybody has something to offer you know what i mean mm. has something something to give and and uh and yeah trying like thoughts like you know uh sep thoughts of separation also come into my mind when i'm you know approaching someone or fear will come into my mind you know what if mm -hmm. you think and 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 even today when i was walking out by uh port weller or the dry docks there um you know someone would be approaching and right away the mind whew, oh you know oh what are they thinking or oh you know what do they look like or did i lock know, my and car? judging right you know mm -hmm. wow wow and oh like that little itch on the nose you know, wow, let it go, smile, greet them, you know, that kind of, <laughs> mm. I don't know, it's interesting, yeah. the mind is. Mm. Yeah, it's some interesting mm. times, and uh, mm. I think we sometimes get focused too much on the negative and, and, yeah. and fail to realize or admit. There's a lot of good. I mean, we're better than we've ever been, and oh. we're getting better all the time. Yeah, uh, there's some horrible yeah. things going on in life, but Fair. for the most part, violent crimes down. Yeah. I mean, everything's down. Sickness is down. Inf like you can find out anything you want. Information, you know, yeah. and, and a lot for of that, sure. you know, it's amazing. There's a lot of distractions that come with that too. Mm -hmm. I suppose you could say sure. with the uh, information overload and you know. Mm -hmm having a device in our hand all oh, the time that's got everything that every answer that we could possibly <laughs> i mean crazy even just when we were kids we didn't have that no you had to hear it from someone's lips yeah or you had to read it in a book yeah, radio or yeah who knows yeah but yeah i kind of like uh sometimes i just leave my phone in the car mm. you know or leave it at in my home you know um, and not take it in somewhere or not take it mm. on a walk or you know um like today this morning i got up quite early and took my mom and dad to the airport they're flying to to calgary and and so we left at four and on the way my dad was like oh i forgot our phones and and they're gone for two weeks so they're going to be gone without their cell phones you know and just thinking ah hearing them kind of hash it out you know should we turn around or not and and uh, i'd be like well it'll be a it'll be a holiday from our phones you know, so it's just yeah. That would never happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you'd be turning around the right before <laughs> I left. No, uh, no. Well, I would probably turn but around, but I've got this deal. Like, if I leave the, <laughs> if I'm in reverse in the driveway, I won't go back for my wallet. Oh wow! Because well, I'm already You're headed moving. out the door. It's a waste of time for me to go back. Like it's. It, Either I need money right now or I need my wallet for a specific thing or the reason I'm going out is the thing I forgot. Then I'll go back. For, but f mm -hmm. for the most part, I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. okay. I'll just grab it later. But the phone, yeah. oof, that's not, that one would be a tough that's one to beautiful. leave for two weeks. Yeah, I know. Uh, I and know, because I'm always like, where's even now? Uh, yeah. Like they're both recording. But where's just I'm like, uh, what yeah, do I yeah, check yeah. my, what do I check How my do shit I check? with? <laughs> <laughs> even though even though there's a screen right there <coughs> right you know <coughs> wild yeah and i can get my yeah. text messages down here if i really want to but uh no it's it's an interesting uh yeah i'm i'm kind of working with with letting trying to trying to hold it loosely and not not be bound by my phone mm -hmm. yeah it's a bit of a dance tell us about saturday mm -hmm. nights you still doing your Oh, 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, the St. meditation, Thomas? yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, hmm. so it will be a... Uh, I'm interested to check that out because oh man. I don't know if I can stay quiet for an hour. Uh, fair. <laughs> and not look fair. at my phone. Uh, fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Can I record it? Oh, there's nothing to record. There's nothing we just to record. sit around in silence. Yeah, we sit. Uh, the the yeah, it's it's a meditation, uh, a silent meditation, meditation uh, weekly. That uh, I wouldn't say I guide. I uh, uh, I'm present with the the folks that come to the best of my ability. <laughs> um, but it's every Sunday night at at St. Thomas Church, um, seven p.m. and and we meet, and uh, what the evening is is uh, we we start with a song, and I might say a few words uh, about making yourself comfortable, and that this time is for you, you know, to pause. I think pausing, just having a space in which I I don't need to do anything. I don't need to go anywhere. You know, I'm allowed to stay here, and and deal or watch my thoughts. And then you know, be r- reminded that I'm more than my thoughts, you know, um, and so that's what it is. It's, it's we usually meditate or we sit in silence for 40 minutes, and uh, but during that time, I, I I remind folks again at the beginning that um, because it's for them, they can lay down if they want, you know, they can fall asleep if they want. I'm gonna sing a song at the end, which will probably wake them up, and and. I'll, I'll make sure I don't lock them into the church when I leave. You know what I mean? But like, it's it's a uh, it's just a space for people to pause, and they can practice their own. You know, if they have a mantra that they use that is helpful for them, or if they just want to focus on their breath, you know, uh, or you know, some something else that that works for them. But uh, it's I think it's just an uh, an encouraging space, or like that's what I want it to be, where where people can come and, and, and freely kind of explore, okay, what does it mean for me to be quiet for such a long time? And what happens, you know, and letting things just come up as they do and not judging them, you know, that's the practice. Or judging it and letting it go. It's so hard yeah, not to it's judge. Like, oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Look at me. Uh, but I'm not going to follow that train. You know, I'm like, oh, there it is. And, whoa. Right now, when I see it, I am allowed. And for me, knowing that I'm allowed to let it go, that's sometimes the big, oh, wow, I don't need to follow it. You know, I can actually, and it will go. Mm. It will It will leave. And, and some sometimes it's almost like a mental image of something kind of moving into the fog, you know, or like kind of like a, a, a puzzle kind of... Ch- coming apart um but uh but being reminded that it's a practice and and i don't always have a good sit you know but it's it's not about a good or bad sit it's just about being there Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah so that's every sunday night so you're more than welcome to come and it's not uh there's no cost and saint thomas church is around the corner of what is it lake street in ontario yeah what's your connection to that space um we used to i used to meet there with a with like a spiritual community um they were called quest um they started meeting whoa seven seven eight maybe more years ago um first in in homes and then in a church that was rented uh and then down on 145 king street king and carlisle right and that's where we're meeting and and uh just uh, like-minded you know folk that had kind of come out of a more uh, um, you know more conservative church you know mm-hmm. and they were a little disillusioned with you know the words and names and, and ways of approaching God divine you know um, um, and and so they left that and they wanted a, f- a space where they could freely explore without you can't explore that kind of thing you know what i mean freedom to Mm -hmm. uh, to to dialogue about you know issues that were close to people's hearts or maybe they're afraid to speak of you know because Mm -hmm. their upbringing and so it was a safe space it was really it was really lovely and that that is where i started doing the meditations Mm -hmm. um, a number of years back um, in between my bus runs Um, but now sunday nights work best for the church 
uh, St. Thomas, and and for me, it's great. I'm always free, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a it's a nice way of ending and beginning the week, you know, being together and being quiet together, and and uh, and the space is is oh, pretty wild. Space. First yeah. time I've been in there. Oh, neat. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's. I mean, I don't go to many churches space. anyway, but um, I've been in a few of them, and that one. Mm-hmm. I mean, acoustically, it's it's magic, it's and uh, I it it, yeah. it was mm-hmm. so impressive acoustically. Uh, I said I'd like to come see a service there. Yes, did you? No, I haven't. Not yet. No. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, Kevin's a cool cat. Is he's he the, the rector uh, there? Y- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not. Th- is he the preacher or the um, yeah I priest or uh, whatever? Is it Catholic? Uh, no, Anglican. Okay, Anglican. Yeah, pretty close. Though. Yep. Yeah. yeah, cool cat though, man. He's a good guy. Yeah, now was energy. he the big guy sitting in the corner there at your show? No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, that, that was a friend of yours, friend maybe. of mine. Okay, because yep. I walked yep. up to him like he was the rector, and I thanked oh. him and everything. He's like, "Oh, whoa, I didn't do anything." <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was being, <laughs> I thought he was just being humble or oh, like, "Oh, great. I just uh, opened the door." It was probably like, Andrew. Okay, Andrew. Yeah, All right. yeah, he's a good cat. Mm-hmm. Huh. Now, yeah. tell me if I'm right or wrong about this. Are you? Um, too humble to accept the fact that you're actually a leader in your community or have you do you wear that proudly? i don't i don't i don't really no? see myself you don't see that, that no 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 because I, th- I thought huh. i thought that about you huh and uh if there's one thing you you might get out of today huh. i'd encourage you to consider and just look for places where you are mm-hmm. like that is a big deal sunday nights yeah yeah Th- that's yeah. leadership yeah. that's community that's leading yeah. a community mm. your music mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> your music man think of your band mm-hmm. like the those guys like yeah. i mean yeah. i don't know them All personally really but good people. man you do not perform like that mm-hmm. unless oh. you have a mutual respect yeah, yeah, yeah. and you have leadership yeah. right Mm. And and they're probably leaders in their own right, but you're the man. Yeah. It's the sweet experience for a reason, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, are you still mm. playing with those guys? Well, on I'm, trombo- I'm sliding I'm trombone. <coughs> man, that cat. I'm a uh, and the bassist. Slowly, they're, they're all just really good. They're good, good cats, yeah, man. Yeah. They're good cats. Uh, yeah, thankful, thankful for how how people come come mm. into lives, you know, um, at the um, right time. The right <coughs> all purpose. solid, solid individuals and. Uh, and amazing, amazing musicians, you mm-hmm. know. Um, uh, but yes, we're. I'm. I'm working on a few things uh, right now. I, you know, uh, solo. I'm singing or I'm pushing singing in retirement homes. So I'm going around. I've gone around to quite leadership. a few. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm. I'm being it's patient. Leadership and right there, man. Think <coughs> about that. Like the difference that you're making on that, I, and you don't always special. get acknowledged for being. Oh, you know, you not everyone's going to come up to you like I do and say, "Hey, bro, I appreciate you, and you made a difference in my life." Just a smile. Some of them can't even talk. Yeah. No, but just a smile, or or they'll you know nodding heads to to the rhythm or the feet to the rhythm. Uh, even f- falling asleep to your oh music. Oh man, be great. Yeah, yeah. It's just like I just get to s- I get to sing to you and and bring you into a a calming hopefully healing space so it's powerful it's good i love i love it and uh how long have you been doing that oh maybe half a year nine oh, okay. months like this is kind of the beginning and just and in town yeah yeah so which pl- which homes have you played? um i've gone to about 13 homes <laughs> you know and and just kind of waiting been to lynn haven here on ontario yeah yeah, yeah lynn haven and and my grandmother was there anna grafton and and uh Tabor and well down down by port uh anchor point and and yeah quite a few quite a few homes you know word of mouth just getting you in the door um or you've been actually no i pushing su- you're calling yeah. them up and going yeah. hey yeah i went in with a nice uh, like a suit on and, and, and <laughs> come like, on i want to see that day <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i, I was like man i have to i have to push this and uh you probably just, clean up well yeah i it's fun it's yeah. fun um well you wear a suit when you're playing too uh i have this wild like red and and white okay kind of sergeant not Pepper the yellow jacket. coat not the yellow one but i'm gonna pull <laughs> that out love that yellow coat, like man. That's that the coat. first time i saw you you've heard this story <laughs> many times you guys probably haven't in the soil <laughs> yep yep i hear this voice <laughs> and i'm oh, like man. what <laughs> is that and i turn around i come into the tent 
I'm like, <laughs> I meant, what is that? But hmm. then when I looked at you, I'm like, what is that? Yeah, like, man. yeah, like, who would I put? My buddy, I quit, um, <laughs> uh, Rufus Wainwright. Do yeah. you have his vocal similarities? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah somebody yeah. mentioned him. Yeah. Was, um, I, I love his stuff. I and love I his got, stuff. Uh, I, and I, I say this with a bit of, a bit of humor. Uh, <laughs> um, what was I cross you with? Oh, Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, yeah. With, um, I can't, <laughs> I don't come to me who the other <laughs> one was. But I'm like, what? <laughs> What the hell? Yeah. And that is a really cool outfit. Thanks. And then the voice, like you, you just can't get by the voice. And then it was a good day. It's a, it's a really cool package. And I was just like sitting there going. And I, I joke, I pick up musicians in bars, not women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could, I could go to bars to meet women, but it's, just, it's not my thing. Uh, but fair. I go to bars and I pick up bands and a musician. I'm like, hey, I'm Jim. I'm, you know, you want to come in and do your and thing talk. on my show? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes, I do. So yeah, that's <clears throat> that the first time. Anyways, you were talking about you got what you were wearing to the homes is a yeah, but also sorry, I derailed uh, the conversation. Uh, I'm good at that. No, 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 no worries. Homes, homes. So that's that's uh, that's something that I'm I'm pushing, and uh, and then um, pubs pubs and, and inns and things that's like some of the uh like angels in cocktail in, in bar as opposed to like yes yes the Instead mansion of, house yes, type of thing absolutely where it's more of a you know uh, a gentle vibe you know Dinner crowd even. yep yep and, and i same kind of thing like just singing singing covers and then throwing my tunes in between you know and i right. got a, a handful of tunes that i love love and 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 just work i'm working on them with uh with uh, with these guys, you know, and Same bring them guys? to the table. Yeah, the yeah, sweet yeah. experience guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Adrian, I have to I have to see if if he would be on board. Um, I would I would I would like that. Um, but uh, Adrian's the the bassist. Trombone? Oh, the bassist. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was I was hanging out with Paul yesterday. He's the good uh, the on bass, bonus. man. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. And the the slide trombone is just. Uh, he's good, but it, it, the match, mm -hmm. it's the marriage is oh. so fitting. <clears throat> it's so funny. And to you know what? You take it, yeah. that trombone out of your music, it doesn't it doesn't make the music mm. any less beautiful. Mm. But the but addition it of it just makes it. Ex it's just yeah. He's oh, nice. He's magic. Um, he, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a great <laughs> ear. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, we we're, we're hanging in. No his, one in talks his about the drummer. Ah, uh, good old Joe. <laughs> oh man, Joe can hold it down. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what are you, so what are you working on? What What are the songs that that oh, you that I'm really? Singing. No. What, what I mean, what do you what do you like? I mean, what yeah. are you listening to and whatnot? Oh, you know what? Um, and does that translate into? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the song. Sometimes, yeah. 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 If I uh, if I like, you know, a tune and it feels good to me, uh, like uh, one that that I really enjoy is is "Loves in Need of Love Today" by Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, it is Stevie Wonder, yeah. And I do it like I, all the songs that I cover, I kind of you know you make it your own. Oh, you have to. You know, there's no sense trying happens. to be Beatlemania and no. doing exactly like that. I That's will do it my own, and it's fun, and mm -hmm. I I enjoy that, and uh, <coughs> so that's that's one, and um, I also you know I'm a fan of of like Hotel California, like doing songs like that, and and doing like Cracklin' Rosie by Neil Diamond, you know, like that's a good tune. And just mm -hmm. kind of stumbling upon these. And some of them were, were uh, um, uh, requests at, at homes. So I'd mm -hmm. play at a retirement home. I'd say, hey, are there any tunes that you guys want me to sing next time when I come back kind of thing? And then you learn new tunes. And they're mm -hmm. like, yeah, play some Neil Diamond. So I'm like, all right, I don't know any Neil Diamond. So I, you know, learned Cracklin' Rosie and I <laughs> learned... Uh, uh, Sweet Caroline, of course. I love, I love. They're great. So those are fun. Oh, yeah. You know? and that's those such a fun. singable song that everyone. Oh, uh, and that's Sweet it. And, and giving yeah. space for that is, is fun. And mm -hmm. so I'm kind of letting go of I have to write my own music. And if I perform, I have to perform my own music. Kind of letting that go and just being, I'm just going to sing. I'm just going to sing because I love singing. And it does something for me. Like it heals me. You know, there's something that happens, and and I get to bring other people. Who cares if it's not my if it's my song or not? Mm -hmm. I'm still it, like in a space with other people, bringing them into a 
something. Yeah, and you can take not you can own it. Yeah, you just yeah, and the like message. It, you don't no, have to have sure. written and produced it no, and make money no. off it to actually own it. I'll share it in the space, yeah. you know. I'll mm-hmm. share in the singing of it and and make it my my own in that sense and and just enjoy it. I just get to enjoy it. So it's fun, and some of the songs are really punchy, and so it's it's fun like messing with them. And yeah, with the trombone is awesome. You know, you bring that in, and and sometimes I think John on John John Lepp uh, from Fat Moth. He'll he'll join us my next question. on uh, on mandolin, so having some mandolin in there, <laughs> it's awesome. It's, you know, so many as amazingly talented people mm-hmm. that are like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do this with you. I, I wanna make music with you. And for me, that's that's a special. That's special. I think that's special. I'm very. Mm-hmm. I feel very fortunate, and and uh, yeah, I get to, and people want to do this with me. And yeah, yeah, it's it's a good thing. So tell us about Fat Moth, <coughs> and how many how many bands are you hooked up with now? I, I didn't even I'm know not, you played I'm not, all these. I'm instruments. not playing with them anymore. You're not. With I Fat was. Moth? I okay. was. Uh, now I get to enjoy them from the other side of the state. Okay. Which is, it's been a good thing. Who's all in that? Oh, there's quite a few. Um, what is it? John Lepp is 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 uh, this you know singing singing okay. and, and right. electric guitar and and uh, uh, and then Jordan, Bull Phelan and uh, um, Alexander, they're in that. And Nick, I forget what his last name is. Nick, keyboardist, the keyboardist. Yeah, and then Joe Mahoney, and and Graham, Graham from uh, Pindles. Oh, right. Yeah, he's their second, like their percussionist. Another percussionist. I like Graham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talented yeah. Kid. Good cat. Yeah. So that's. I don't think I missed anybody. Two Jordans, <laughs> John, so Joe, Nick. Do you have a female singer there? F- um, as well, I was singing. Uh, I am you singing off and on with uh, with Clementine, Sarah, Sarah Hamilton. Oh, is okay. that is that who you might? No, know? I was no. I'm thinking of some maybe another band then. Oh, and Josh, Josh Delorio is now singing with them. Okay. so he's now singing with them. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That yeah, I was impressed. I'm like, Anthony Sweet behind a keyboard. What the hell? It was a little What's scary. Play trumpet too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but well. you know what the best music lesson I have ha- re- had recently, and I don't take many of them, was on a keyboard. Uh-huh. Because uh-huh. it's all laid out in front of you. It's yes. not like that thing where, you, you know, you got you to hold th- three or four strings together to get yeah. a chord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it with two. <coughs> yes, just yes, thing, yes. I know. Move it all the way I know. down the scale. And some and simple so is best. Cool. Yeah. I, I didn't know what the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do was. They're notes yep. in a scale, I think, yeah, and then yeah, there's yeah. And and then you get you repeated take that scale and there's mm-hmm. the, like mm-hmm. one, two, three, four, and then one's like I don't know. There's one funny note in there or something. But uh, Scotty Clarkson, a good friend of mine, who's a former realtor and actually a contractor now, hmm. and this is you know, I think it's important to acknowledge your own leadership hmm. because otherwise, yeah, fair. Because if you deny it, then yep. there's nothing to capitalize on. Like if you, if you mm-hmm. say, okay, this is a strength of mine, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. then you can work on the strength. Mm-hmm, like nobody mm-hmm. wants to work on their weakness. No, work mm-hmm, on your strength mm-hmm. for crying out loud. Yep. And uh, uh, Jihad used to have uh, Monday Night Jams. Well, uh, mm-hmm. when Matthew James Blake and G mm-hmm. were living together, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, Carl David was there. Yeah. And they were living at that house beside uh, Dunn yeah. Street Grill. Okay. They call it the Lighthouse. And yes. G's actually got an album called The Lighthouse. Yeah, and yeah, Road yeah, Waves yeah. is the fucking off the hook they're doing so well now and what they a just great went band. what they did yesterday they left or a few yeah, days ago no, they left yeah, on their last tour? yeah last week i think they're doing a western tour or something like that yeah, yeah. so uh, scotty Wild. my friend plays um piano he's got a piano at the house he's self-taught he learns on youtube wow. he plays covers he's Crazy. got some he's he's written some music himself mm. but he's never played for anyone other than his friends and his wife like me mm-hmm. and a couple buddies and, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Marcy and his wife, mm-hmm. right? And so, like, music is so deeply important to me, as you mm. have figured out already, probably. So, um, Aaron Berger, and this is how the 610 radio show kind of introduced me to all these guys. Mm. And Aaron Berger and I got to be good friends, and we spent a lot mm. of time together before we got married. And, um, and he used to attend this um hmm. this monday night jam and um hmm. i was like well yeah 
can I yeah I'd love to come so I used to pick them up and then I used to cook oh. I'd make a salad one week oh. I made burgers oh. bacon oh. and uh, sauteed onions and blue cheese like I, I've never even made one of those burgers before and I was like <laughs> wow sounds amazing I think one night I made tacos for 15 people you know it's mm. a I, I that's my contribution to the jam yeah. and then I get to go downstairs and I play some bongos yeah, yeah, Man, yeah. you're like when, when you don't play bongos you don't have to hit them for very long before your forearms very red light arms. up <laughs> yeah you're like what the hell I can't yeah. pick my arms up the next day what, what was that from <laughs> no I was like oh bongos, right man. yeah and so uh, I made it important enough to to mm -hmm. bring Scott and he's like well I don't like I don't do that. I've never jammed. Yeah. I, I've never even played in front of anyone but you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, just come and watch then. I'm cooking, so you can't can't lose there. Um, Did he come? He came. Oh, nice. And then uh, James Durlow. I don't know if you know James, but uh, he's a mm. country folky, oh, just a, a deeply spiritual kind of hippie, native-ish kind of guy, right? Like it's okay. Really good guy good cat and a musician and a, and a pretty good one and he played the show as well oh i come downstairs i said scotty come on and scotty kind of sticks his head around the corner of the stairs and i i sit down with james he's doodling away on his guitar and i start going ding 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 on the on the keyboard mm -hmm. well, strangely i'm like I have an ear for it, I mm -hmm. guess I didn't know. Oh, that's cool. And my yeah. fingers are kind of weirdly spaced in the right way, <laughs> and I'm kind of just dinking around. Like I've never put my hands on a. Well, uh. I mean, I have, but never seriously tried to play anything. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> and I find myself going, <laughs> "Oh, this, like, this is I'm funny. in tune. It might not be like, you know, it, it's not bad. It's not horrible, you know. And I'm just playing around. But I think the key is that you did it." Yeah. That you do it. Yeah. You well, I, it took me a long time to get there. Yeah. And I it was only imagine. because James and I were in the room. And I'm doing it really for Scotty that's peeking around at the bottom of the stairs because he doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. Like, he plays the keys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just want to make it okay for him to get behind the keys. And I know he's really awkward about it. Yep. Yep. So I start like this. And you know what? I start to get up, and I'm like, "Here, you, you're the one that plays." And I get up, and James says to me, "Sit back down, finish the song. Sounds good." I'm like, whoa, James, oh. settle the, settle down, Chill, bro. Man. Oh, yeah. So I uh, go, all, all right. right down. So there'll be a time yeah. when when he will come <laughs> and sit down, finish the song, <laughs> and it was cool. And I said, "Okay, uh, Scotty, you know, like please." Uh. Uh. And so that was his first time. And Awkward he did. and all. He got down oh, behind it, and then he became a regular. Now he's holding jams at his house. Yep. Really? He's, yeah, really? He's go play, he played his first paid gig, I think. Somebody offered for him to play his, his That's uh, wild, wedding man. or whatever. He really? turned it down because he was like, well, I don't want so much pressure. I just do it for fun and whatever. But Fair. he's written a song now. And huh. now, you know, we'll go over there and he'll play. And Matthew will get on the – and I can, I can play a D chord. Yep fairly well and yeah. like the minor and the whatever this one is when uh, when you i know the shape of a d i can even hear it in my head yeah, yeah well, huh, uh yeah. and i was like how do these guys tune the guitar well, i can hear the d because that's the only i know a few chords but the d i can yeah. i can i can doodle around enough with the yeah, d yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. i'll be go like oh, okay guys <laughs> this is what I how do how do we make a jam around this? <laughs> I'll play my do. little ding 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 like this is my little thing and they'll go, Oh, okay. And then and they, they go they from bring there. in the guitar and they bring in the you know, ah. that, you know, the piano and stuff and and so uh yeah, it's uh it's amazing how the music like brings people together and how uh, like for me it's created so many opportunities to meet people. Yeah. And, yep. um, you know, I never ever think that, you know, I just do it because I, I like it. And, yep. like, like, sure, I'd love to go see Anthony Sweet when he plays the Mate Cafe and there's 50 people in the house and he's getting a bunch of love. And, you know, you can barely talk to the guy or, you know, you got to stay up till 11 o'clock at night to see him. Or, and more, mm -hmm. geez, had his birthday party at, Ma at Merchant Ale House last week or the week before. They mm -hmm. started at 11. 
Yes. Come on, man. I know. It's Saturday night. I'm, I could be, uh, be up at quarter I to know. five. I'm not a huge fan of late shows. Sundays. Like, come on. Like, it's not like, cool. Can we start at eight? How's, like, so I'll have them play right here then. Yeah, nice. Like, forget it. Like, I got them all. I got you to myself. It's a one-on-one. <laughs> I get to hit. Like, I oh, what do I need oh, to go no. to Mate and stay up till two o'clock in the morning? No. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> yeah, there's something about afternoon shows, too. I think I might try and do some of those. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so no more fat mock. No, no. Other than going and dancing, because it's amazing. I love, I love their music. It, it was just time, time for me to step out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was, mm-hmm. it was a good ride. It was fun. Um, yeah, but it was time. Time. Yeah. I was like, okay. So you're not, you're not moonlighting with uh, any other bands then. No, other than well, other than uh, Sarah Hamilton. Okay. Yep, uh, she's not based out of Toronto, but her and I perform every now and then, and it's wonderful. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for the next. She's she's in the midst of of releasing some Jazz, music. No, no oh, it's I'm picking up the wrong. Her Sarah. project is called Clementine, and her name is Sarah Hamilton, and uh and it's. It's really quite lovely. Yeah, she's got a few things on on uh, or uh, she's got a number of tracks on a uh, Bandcamp. Okay. Yep. Yep. Search uh, Sarah Hamilton Clementine. So what do you do? What do you? What's your what's your capacity with her? Um, I sing and I play keys. Okay. Yeah. What do you say with that face there? I play keys. Keys. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Uh, I heard. It, did you allude it to feels earlier? Really good. Like you don't feel like you're very um, good at it, or? Uh, <laughs> I I felt a little uh, um, yeah when I was playing with Fat Moth I was like oh I don't know what to do sometimes oh, that right. was that uh, the music of Fat Moth is m- more complicated like more mm-hmm. more more movement than than what I've uh, I've ever done mm-hmm. you know when I'm when I'm adding an instrument um, so it was it was a it was a good experience for me but uh, with with Sarah. Um, it's only guitar and piano and her stuff is very very gentle um uh and and so i don't have to do much i just keep it very gentle and i i I enjoy that yeah it's just more of a yeah yeah just different different experiences but uh it's always a cleansing experience with both but with uh with with sarah um yeah, I always come away from from experiences with her of performing. Uh, we we performed last up uh, um, uh, the music hall up in uh, oh, uh, the music hall up in up in Toronto. Uh, where was it? I forget. But it was it was wonderful. You know, it's like there's so many up there. Yeah, yeah. I forget what it was called. Junction Junction City Music Hall. Hmm. Cool space. Cool space. But. Uh, yeah, you just feel cleansed afterwards. You know, it's a wild kind of like, oh wow, that was lovely. Just mm. felt lovely, you know. And you're like, let's do it again. Mm. Just cool. like, yeah, honored, privileged. It's great. Now, how Love many it. discs do you have? Do I have? Yeah, I have albums? two. Okay. Two. Yeah, two yeah full one. Albums? Yep. Yep. Now, um, no, one I is only with the sweet experience. I'm trying to. Oh, oh yep. really? One okay. is with the sweet experience, yeah, and it's just called S- sweet experience, right? Um, and that, yeah, it was about ten, ten tracks, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, ten tracks amazing. that that we did together. And it was nice to get it down, you know. Sometimes I, uh, I, I find it, it wasn't as as, at least for me, recording is tricky for me, you know. Um, getting the right feel behind the vocal, and I, I, I was a little off kilter for that one, and I think I had a a headache that day but uh <laughs> when we were recording but it was an experience we captured it i'm glad we did um and uh <laughs> thanks thanks uh but i'm i'm working at uh i might i'm, I'm i might be working with uh with jo- uh, joe lipinski and uh um oh what's his name i forget right now lucia i don't know no no a really a really good drummer in town amazing drummer so we're, we're looking at just doing more more uh a meditative meditative album so bringing songs like the one that i sang here 
and and others that I've written and and putting them in a more meditative rhythmic mm -hmm. experience and uh and and putting something out that people could maybe sit in meditation to for a half an hour, wow, you know, kind of thing. Well, it seems like it's yeah. such a natural progression for you, right? Yeah, it'd be neat. The sweet experience was a natural progression from your first album. Just yeah. Weird how the universe kind of conspires to put people in your life. It does. Songs it does. in your head and it's crazy. Feelings in your it's heart wonderful. and the whole thing. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so and now you're you know you're evolving. You're growing up and wisdom and experience and all this kind of stuff and <laughs> yeah, yeah yep. i know you giggle but uh, there mm. is uh, i find you mm. to be one of those guys mm. you know like it's cool that has an amazing amount of self-contained wisdom it's, you know you're not gonna want to spread it at all you just feel it you know yeah. and uh yeah and so even that part of the meditation and the yoga and mm -hmm. that song that came out of it mm -hmm. and i'm just mm -hmm. i'm cranked to hear what your next project is yeah, i'm excited because, because yeah i'm excited i mean i compare this and, and people that listen to me often well this is not the first time they've heard this but an album's like a love affair mm. you know you're you're infatuated at first mm. and mm. then um mm. and then different songs you know you wear them out mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. uh, you know I always use Aaron Berger's Color and Light as an example because in St. Catharines is track three. Well, I would skip to track three to hear that one first all the time because it was... So good. Well, it was a good song. Yeah. And it's yeah, also yeah. like I just... I put it in and I've probably played it from the beginning. Right. And then three songs in, I'm like, oh, here in St. Catharines. good. Yeah. Is dude singing about my hometown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. who is this? Like, he's a local guy. One, I don't mm. expect the album to sound anything but local i expected to sound like it was recorded here in my basement like not very good you know yeah well actually yep. i shouldn't say that but most of the recordings that i've been putting out from down here are pretty decent for the limited resources what that you've I've got that i've got yeah, yeah. uh so I, i'd start on track three which is in st Catharines, and then and then listen to the whole album well you never get to hear one and two calgary song yes. one so then I got into, you know, I I've matured a little bit with the relationship. So now mm. I start, now I'll start the CD at track one. Yes. And I'm like, wow. Yes. I've never it's heard like, these oh, two songs. songs. great. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I skip over <laughs> three because I'm tired of it. <laughs> uh -huh. And then, and so mm -hmm. his, um, <laughs> his wife asked me the, at, the, at the show, the uh, CD release party, um, hmm. Hmm. I can never remember the names of the albums. A Healing Ground. Wow, that came quick. Um, Susanna says, what's your favorite songs? I go, four, five, and six. That's how I know them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She says, I said, I think let it let it go. Um, let it go? Let it, let it roll is five. I know that for sure. And she says, oh, six and seven are these. I'm like, whoa, huh. look at you. I know you're married to the guy and stuff, but no. Oh. Like really, you know every track, <laughs> every number of every track on Amazing. every album. I know she was wow. she's a good woman. <laughs> hmm. And so, then you break up because hmm. after six, like literally, this hmm. CD stayed in my deck for six months. Yeah, I played nothing but Aaron Berger's yeah, yeah. Color and Light. Yeah, yep. And then it goes on the shelf. Yep. For a year. Or more, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it's like getting back together. It's like you bump into the, your old girlfriend at the bar, and you go home together, and you have yeah, a, yeah, another yeah. love affair. It's like, yes. oh, I remember this familiarity, yes. this love yes. affair I had. It feels good. I it feels good it. all over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you put it up on the shelf, you're yeah. done with it. Mm -hmm. You don't. You're, you're done. It's mm -hmm. spent. It's over. It's you're you're. Fa yeah. It's not like a love it like a you know a relationship. Yeah, I, but it is a relationship. So. Mm -hmm, so I'm mm -hmm. always, well, what's next? Mm -hmm. Well, Aaron's put out a great song. He, he recorded mm -hmm. it with Joe. Yes, yes, yes. At, uh, yeah. in, his in the shed. Yes, I think, in, the, yeah. in the back. Amazing. And then Amazing. He, and then Joe played with him at Oddfellows, oh. where he had his pop-up studio and yep. stuff. Awesome. And Joe, <laughs> I got to get Joe in here. Oh, you should. Wow. And it's Good weird job. because I heard Rio Statics and some of Joe's music. Mm. And I said, dude, I just got to say this. He goes, you're one of my favorite bands. And, no way. Seriously. <laughs> like, just, 
a yeah. tendency or proclivity or just I don't know. And he goes, oh yeah, I want to. Oh, a huge influence in my music. I go, oh, look yeah, at me. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I picked it out. Yeah, yeah but he is yeah. a talented, talented kid, man. Not yep. just from the music side, but from the engineering, recording, yep. and mastering and stuff yep. like that. Like, yeah, I, I, and that's you know, I'm not sure where I'm going with all this mm. kind of uh, this. I, I don't expect that this is gonna pay money uh, but you don't often know until you're down the road oh i see what i was in training for yeah there. right that's right but that's i'd right. love to be able to have mm -hmm. enough resources and, and equipment to show up to your gig yep. mic it up yep. and make it sound yep and yeah, then if yeah. you say hey broadcast it if you want i don't yeah, care yeah. the more people that hear it the better yeah, yeah. cheers then and then i can share it because i know mm -hmm. if i'm mm -hmm. doing a job well mm -hmm. at the anthony sweet show that somebody will be watching my feed and go we should get down there eh? Mm. let's go let's go it's only 10 bucks it's yeah, right yeah. here like look you know, he's got away. another show at 11 o'clock let's do <laughs> another set like, well, let's get down there because mm. uh, like, sweet I, yeah. yeah yeah i mean yeah. that's i remember sitting sitting here one rainy day and uh, watching church online. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th my church made it rain on stage. Like, for, like, it, like, I'm, a, I gotta get down. How do they make it a rain? Crazy. Like, how, it's not like, raining on the band, but it looks like it's raining. Weird. So, yeah. So I said, boom, showered up and I and flew boof. down there. I'm like, what the? And it looked like it was raining live. Too. Weird. Like it was so cool. I can't remember getting what getting wet. Were. Like was it? No, it, no, and some volunteer had built this thing. Wild. With pumps and a and a thing and it just dripped and Wild. It was, yeah, yeah. So that I always use that as comparison. Like I know that if mm. even if you just broadcast the first set. Yeah. No how many I mean a lot of people don't come over the first set anyway. That's right. That's right. Or the opening act. Yeah. You give them some exposure. Yeah, I like know? that. I like that. Yeah. So I, uh, mm. I, I'm always, I always fantasize about that, and I've done it at a few shows. Like I, I, I streamed uh, Aaron's release party, oh, and you did. Oscar Anderson short opened up. Yo, I know. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Amazing. Drifter before, but oh. he gives me chills. Like uh, sure I does. don't use magic very often. I always use magic with you because I don't know. It's just the, the word I associate with being in a space with you when you're singing but he is a talented kid man yep. and just a nice boy too oh, oscar you're on the clock guy. man you said you'd get down here and do this so <laughs> <laughs> oh. so but i didn't have the mics placed right i had the mics at the back of the room oh and so where are you supposed to put the mics beside the speakers i, I guess. guess i don't know I wanted to plug into the mm. board, but the girl, we didn't have the night. I don't know. It wasn't. So you should talk to Joe. He'll help you out. Yeah, it, yeah. W it wasn't perfect. But I, I think I need to spend some more time, even at Mate or some of the, the you know, warehouse would be great because uh, we talk about a great and sound. Mate it would be good, you know, yeah. even on like an open mic evening, mm -hmm. you know, going and, and, and talking with Jordan, Jordan Phelan. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He, he does the open mics at Mate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And just shooting the bomb. Those are Thursdays? Yep. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. I think I'm not there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, because that's then an option, could, right? If I could plug into the board, mm -hmm. then I'd have one feed and then maybe another feed. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure you got to learn trial by error type of thing. Sure, but, but they'd be, be able to point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't, I don't understand Technical it aspect all. Thing. Yeah, no, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I geek out on it a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. Huh. Yeah. What are you writing right now? Mm. I'm just journaling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just journaling. I, I just got back from a, like a three week kind of excursion out to Quebec City, and uh, in my yeah. home, kind of the first first bigger trip in my van. Um, so that was that was good. That was good. No no mechanical issues, which I'm some thankful street for work. It. You said too. Yeah yeah. I sang on the streets of Quebec City, so that was that was really good just to do that. Quebec City is a great little oh, man, town. I eh? love it. No. It was really good to be back after about four years. You in Montreal at all? No, no, no. just passed through. Just passed through. I, I was pushing to to see an old friend, old uh, a busker friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a while. Yeah, I missed. Did you play together? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, not not this time. Mm. He's uh, working on things. 
Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's a, uh, it was good. Uh, kind of father figure. He's he's seventy five years old, and, and uh, it was just nice to to hang out at his uh, shop where he he builds things, uh, and at the cafe. So we just kind of hung out and drank coffee and talked, and it was good, man. It was good. And then then I just went and sang down by uh, Saint Louis Gate, that's one of the gates that go into the into the old city. Yeah. And uh, hung out there for a week and. And then did a little show in Kingston, which was fun. Uh, you know, I only planned one, one show, you know, and it was it was it was nice. It was that Musiki <laughs> uh, Musiki Cafe, um, down kind of in the in the downtown area, and good, uh, really good vibes, man. You know, it, it felt good. And then after that, it was a week with family, a week with family. Got to see all my family and my my brothers and their wives and six nieces and nephews you know so it was, it was a it was a big good experience it was great great and then and then back here you know back here yeah I, and I i'm feel so glad you're back i just happened to see moto music hmm i wonder if he's back mm. well, i'll send him a message boom send him yep. a message and i'm like well i better check his wall to see what he's up to oh he's in belleville okay well <laughs> Yeah, and I made I a said, stop Well, over I don't in think Belleville. we can expect Anthony <laughs> tonight because he's well, he's in Belleville oh, last night. No. So, and then you no, answered. I'm I was like, he's coming. Back. He's I'm he's coming tonight. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was Where driving was Monday. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm excited. I'll, I'll be back at Moto on Tuesday again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna try and make it. I don't have church this week. I'm not on till August 14th now, which okay. is which is fine. We'll uh, pause. Because I get to stay up late and. Oh yeah, nice. And drink and watch uh mma with my boy and matthew james blake he wanted to be here he, he's usually my jamie he'll run the board and make sure the feed i see our feed is offline now but oh he'll make sure that we get reconnected and stuff like that when he's here yep and i say my jamie because joe rogan has i don't know if you watch joe rogan show but oh. joe rogan's like a hero to me now because just mm. what he's doing and mm. he's so big and he gets the greatest guests and he's genuine there's no bullshit about him he doesn't try and pretend he's something he's not yeah. And Jamie is the guy behind the scenes that pulls stuff up. So he'll always say, pull that shit up, Jamie. And Jamie has mm. to, you know, Finds he, it. he runs mm. the mics and he makes sure mm. every makes sure the feed's going. So easy engineer. So when mm -hmm. Zeus Fleming was here, he was here uh, last week, last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday I had to pull the first service because uh, 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 Derek was in Plan to Protect. So he was in mm -hmm. a session. Mm -hmm. So I covered that. I did rehearsal and first service then i went and did the viz show with aaron visitine on that uh, 4680 ca.ca the music uh, station in uh, okay. niagara falls okay and then i flew back here set everything up met mj here and zeus fleming came in he's a radio personality he's huh. got uh, all things ryan's all things geek he's, he's got a geek page with fifty thousand followers and cool so we uh, we set up and and so I'd be like, hey, we still on like so he he was my engineer and he would have been here today he had to work he says well maybe I'll stop by later he knows I you know I run for an hour or two hours sometimes with right. with my guests but normally we'd have uh, Matthew James Blake which he's my Jamie which is my engineer mm. he's also my Brendan Schaub which if Joe Rogan ever has a cancellation or he's got a hole and he needs a show to go off he calls mm -hmm. his buddy Brendan Schaub. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. And Matthew James Blake has been on the show more than anyone else, probably. I think he's been on the show three or four times. Probably. Okay. Fill in for someone that couldn't nope, make it. No, no, no. I just like, come on, let's yeah, do it again. You got it. new, me well, you know, he's, he's, he played the Via Train all the way out west and back. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, sweet. West Coast Mystery Train, he called it. He made an album. Out oh, of, wow. Out of, uh, all right. Some of the songs that right. he played on the way out. This summer he did that? Uh, last year. Yeah. Last year. So okay. yeah, so before he went, I I had him in, and then after he came back, I had him in. Oh man! And, uh, there's always an excuse to have a talented musician on, right? Yeah, of course. And yeah. he's he's gifted. Oh man, he he's it's special. I, I don't ever refer to MJ as magic, but he he is absolutely gifted and uh, talented beyond. And mm -hmm. he can, f yeah, he can doodle around on the piano, mm -hmm. and he can play drums like. Mm -hmm. uh, like a mm -hmm. fit mm -hmm. and um of course he would never admit any of this you know he mm -hmm. doesn't think he's very good at any of it mm -hmm. 
and it's like Aaron Burgo I said you know what I can my guitar playing is pretty basic <laughs> yeah, he sounds great to me. But you put share a nonetheless, it. man. Yeah, like, yeah. And uh, and M and J says the same thing. He says I'm not really a guitar player. I said, but he he is. He tunes it all down. Like if I if he ever plays my guitar and everyone else, oh, all M J has been here because it's it's all tuned he down. Tunes. Like he, he does, he tunes it down mm. not the traditional way. He likes I don't know, set up for blues or something like that. But cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so fun. Yeah, yeah a lot of here today. People. But um, mm. uh, what is the getaway about, anyways? Is there a yeah? Is there um, a story that you can um, speak to? Not about so that? much. Uh, yeah. It's it's m it was more. I think uh, uh, it was the space that I found myself in at that time. Okay. Um, uh, a feeling of, of of being lost that the song kind of speaks to, um, okay. that uh, um, I've I've gone astray, I've gone astray, um, and and I th I think it it kind of came from um, at that time when I when I wrote it, um, feeling like I was you know if I were to to follow my um, um, my heart, you know, into, you know, possibly falling in love with a man or, you know, even following my heart in, in letting go of, of my, my belief at the time in, in God, uh, then I would, I would, I would, um, be lost, you know, or, or be astray, like I'm off the path, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. And, and, and it was uh, a time, I think, in my life where uh, the choice was being made or I was being prepped, I guess, to to follow, you know, what I felt was right for me. Um, and and I think it was just the, the, the fear of, of making that step. And that's kind of where mm -hmm. that where that song is kind of sitting in, you know, um, just a kind of a bit of sadness sadness and and um is that a common theme throughout that album yeah or no um it, it, i find the theme is is yes from sadness you know to uh uh you know to healing you know um and i think that's why i, I like the the title of the album you know i hurt uh but i find you know i hurt comma i find so I'm 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 search searching I'm I'm finding my way you know I'm finding my way but there was there there is and there was pain involved you know, mm. it, it was it's it's not it's not an easy it's not always easy you know we suffer at times but uh, yeah it's I that song does have a special place hmm. yeah I was yeah. I don't know why. Uh, well, I know it's a beautiful song. I'm not sure why it grabbed me yeah, that yeah. day or or what have you, but it's it's like you talking about being in yoga and becoming you know, emotional and, yeah. and you know yeah. to tears. Yeah, like and it I just comes. Like, well, what's this? I know. Where's this coming it's from? Kind why of am why? I filling all up? I'm not like really thinking about anything, but that. I mean, I think that that's what music's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to heal you. It's mm -hmm. supposed to stir mm -hmm. your emotions. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to make you confused about what's yeah. actually going on sometimes, you know? And yeah. 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 It's, um, we, we don't have to categorize the experience. Mm -hmm. Not just, oh, wow. Wow. This is, oh, this is powerful. Something's happening in me. You mm -hmm. know? And wow. And that's it. And it's like, like you oh. said, when it comes on its unexpectedly yeah. out of nowhere, yeah. it's a, such a fresh surprise oh. and oh. it yeah. seems really genuine because it's not like well i only knew all day today i was gonna have a breakdown at the end <laughs> because i've been you know and it was gonna <laughs> end up in tears right no, no just when you're just blah 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 oh whoa, whoa trigger yeah you know? yeah, yeah i hate yeah, that yeah. word trigger but but I, know, I, anyway. something something happens and yeah those are special moments they're just special moments i i yeah i'm thankful for those hmm but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Well, we've already done an hour forty. Sweet. Yeah. 
wild. Time Anthony, goes, sweet. Time goes really. <laughs> uh, you want to play some more? Or? I could play another tune. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you feel um, like? What do you feel like hitting? Maybe you can just talk about the song a little bit before you hit it. That'd be sure. cool. Because I'm always interested in the, like, I'd love to do like um, like an air check with you. Yeah. We put I heard I find on. Yeah, yeah, and we'll yeah. listen to the whole thing, oh, and you wow. go, oh, here, oh, here, this mistake, oh, this is when, <laughs> and this, this song's about, and without stopping, mm-hmm. we just talk right over it. Like it's not a great listening experience. Oh, I see, I see. Yep. Uh, but I did it with uh, G. We huh. listened to the Lighthouse, or no, Red Sun Rising. We played it all in the background, and he huh. said, oh, this one was about an acid trip in Texas. Wow. And. Wow. We were parked on Lakeside, Lakeside Drive. Lakeside yeah, 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 Drive. Yeah, 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 Great. Yeah, yeah, How many yeah. times you heard that song? Oh, man, like, and dance like yeah. wild to it. <laughs> yeah. And that so, yeah, great. we just talked. And I thought, oh, mm. that is such, I think that's such a cool concept. And then um, hmm. Sarah, Ma- not Sarah McLaughlin, Sarah, um, Cats in the Cradle. Who sang Cats in the Cradle? Oh, man, I Right now, the name slipping me. Sarah McLaughlin. Cat, not Cat Stevens. Um, uh, Taxi. Sarah. <laughs> it'll come, anyway, to, it'll uh, come to you it, at the end. It'll come to me, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's her father. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, anyway. She's b- also been very generous to me. She came on the mm-hmm. show twice at 610. Uh. And then... Another time, maybe. No, she called in, and um, hmm. I pieced out three songs. Mm. I edited her conversation on the phone, mm-hmm. saying this song. Oh, mm. this song's about uh, a priest asked me to write a song for a transgender, hmm. uh, you know, somebody who was struggling with their sexuality in church, and hmm. and I wrote this hmm. as uh, the, and she just talked, and then I put the song on. Oh, that's cool. And then she, as I interviewed her yep. further, she's like, well, this next song. Mm. And she spoke about it. Mm. And I cut it down so that it was talk, song. Yep. Talk about the song. Yep. Song. Oh, that's talk cool. about the song. Play the song. And I thought it was such a cool mm. sounding mm. show. Mm-hmm. From, and I think that people, mm-hmm. it's easy to listen to because it's only, you know, two or three or four minutes of her talk. And then yep. two or three or four minutes of the song. And yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. It's like boom! Oh, here's what the song's about. Here's the song. Boom! Cool. Nice. Nice. So that's why I kind of, and that's why I envisioned you maybe could, slicing you do something that. down as far as um, yeah, making it sound like something like that. But uh, sure. I mean, we can do that another time because, like I said, we're coming up on two hours, and I want to respect your time. And oh, thanks. We can maybe go out and get some sun, or oh man, have Cheers. a swim if you want, yeah, or I'll whatever. Rock on, then. So yeah, just um, uh, I'll let you do your thing. I'll repoint the camera. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I think I'm gonna do a song called uh, "Taking My Time," and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's about seeing that the the grass is green uh, right under my feet, and the thought of it it you know the better better is is always you know a step away or you know uh, it's not the case you know that that it's good right now you know that 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 all is that I am where I should be right now and, and uh, learning to be content. And so that's, that's kind of where this tune, where this tune came from. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I wrote it when I was out in Winnipeg. Yeah, man. Oh, oh that was, uh, Oh, it's probably about nine years ago. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, that's Are you really? Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's it it is, yeah, yeah. Oh man, nice. Yeah, it's it's good for me to uh to go back to that and and to remember you know what, I have it right right now it's it's good and, and, and stopping and 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 recognizing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not always running, you know, running, running to the next thing or, oh, once, once I do that, then, then it will all be well. No, no, 
Uh, right now, right now, let's use that. That's good. Nice, man. Little Mikey. No, 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 no. It's good. Guess I'm completely out of the picture now. Yeah. That's even better. I, I considered doing a podcast solely focused on my guests, but you can't even see me. You can't see me? <laughs> oh, man. We good to go? Nice, man. Take my time, take my time The longer road down the road The better this or better that I'm Digging my time, digging my time, digging my time Oh, dig my time I'm digging my time The longer run and down the road The better this or better that I'm Digging my time Digging my time Digging my time Oh For the grass is a lovely shade of green Right under my feet Right under my feet and oh, oh, it feels so good. Right under my feet, right under my feet, right under my feet. Oh, oh, taking my time. I'm Time. The longer run down the road, the better this or better that I want. Digging my time, digging my time, digging my time. Oh, for the grass is a lovely shade of green right on my feet, right on the my feet and oh, oh, it feels so good right under my feet, right under my feet and this room right here, right next to me, I feel the earth, remember the sun, it feels so good, feels so good. So go, go, Oh, that's and cool, yeah, man. Yeah. Ah. And it's, it's weird how, like I said, that comes up. Hmm. Like a love affair. It's like a yeah, relationship, yeah. right? And then I went, mm. oh, oh, he's talking about the grass under his feet. Oh, oh yeah. I get it now. And every time you listen to it, you get to know yeah. your your rel- always feels your so partner good. better if the that's song right, was that's a right. relationship, you know? That's right. It's like, yeah. Uh, uh, classic man so i really appreciate it obviously thank you anthony um just in closing anything you want to say or more importantly um how can Mm. people get a hold of you Mm. or touch you up with donations or music or Uh, participate in your communities and um uh, anthonysweet.com is the place to go right on yeah it's nice it's uh everything's there if if uh you want to find music about me that's the place that you can go yeah everything's there yeah yeah you can contact me through there. 
Um, you can also find me on Facebook if you want. I'll, uh, Fake book. I'll, ex- I'll accept your. Oh, that's the picture of the Farnsworth painted, today. Eh? Oh yes, yes that. I is, was looking for a picture uh, <laughs> for you today. I didn't want to uh, use this one because it was from AVB. Yes. They did a nice job with they you. They did. They did. They the did. sound recording. Sounds I can't amazing. Won't be able to do that, but. Okay. At least I don't think. Uh, anyways, I didn't want to use their picture. Yep. But then, what's this freshly squeezed? Is that freshly squeezed studios? Yeah, yeah. So that's where it was recorded. At Beatty's place. Yeah. Yep. So who's uh, AVB? They're two guys. Two guys that came through from Windsor. Oh. They used to be a bigger crew, crew of folk, and they had like a a space in Windsor that they were using. Oh. Um, but they decided last year. Um, to go out on the road, oh. and to to go to, like just two of them, and and yeah. and to to meet musicians along the way. And I wonder yeah. what the connection is with Beatty. I love Jay Beatty. What a great oh, kid! Oh, he's a good man. cat. Oh, yeah, he's a cat. good kid. That was the only time and that talented. I really ran into him. But oh, wow. lovely! Mm-hmm. If you ever get the chance to see him play bass, like he's a great guitarist, um, and he's a great engineer. Like he is a uh, talented kid on the board, man. That's but, cool. Um, yeah, yeah and I've he can run a live him. board. He can master. Like he's he's. I need to reconnect with Jay. Just a great. Oh, and he. Huh. I can probably should try to do this, but why not? I'll put it as sample. I'll see if I huh. can find it. He made me like a. You know how all the talk shows got the little whoosh, you know, little intro that you yes. come in with. So. But you have one. Now. <laughs> and do you have one of your own? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Beatty made it for me. Oh, nice. I can't. Mm. Studio Mail, I think it, it came from. Huh. And I'll just give you a, if you think. If I think it's. it's he's it's a. No, if you think he's a, a good cat, then. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. I'll, 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 I'll just show you what he did for me. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, yeah. So, anyways, he helped me with this place so it, it looks like okay. hell i mean you can't see on on the video you can't see all the blankets but and the insulation or whatever ooh. it is that keeps the sound from bouncing echoing, around echoing all over there. yeah yeah i don't have any carpet so i just threw i just got a bunch of uh i found somebody on kijiji that had a bunch of moving blankets moving, so yep. anyways jay came Perfect. down and he brought this little pull sheet and punched these holes yep. in the and he helped me hang it oh. and um it's great so I told him I'm not sure why I wanted this, but I was looking for something. I told him I want it dark and spooky. I want it to be like rising. I want it to sound like evil, like like uh, the you know in the monster movies. Remember when the gar- gargantuan used to come out of the ocean? You can always and, terrifying. Uh, yeah, uh, mice on the hurricane smile starts like that. It builds and it builds oh. and it builds and it builds. It's monstrous. It's oh. huge and kind of dark and evil at the same time. <laughs> so I don't know why I I I requested this, but that's the request I made, and this is what he came up with. Sitting right here. It's wild. <laughs> Just brought a little dad in a little loop. It's amazing. I don't know where I'll use it, but he's using it right now. So yeah, he made that while my niece and I sat here. We smoked dope all day, pretty much. <laughs> nice. And he, he, and then he says, "Oh no, totally! I'd love to make you like an intro." So he sent over. He says, "I don't know." He says, "You know." Hmm. <laughs> it sounds like a Jimmy Fannin theme. Is that him? Yeah. Him playing? Oh, maybe that wasn't the final production. Oh, Oh, no, hang on a second. That wasn't the final production of it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That was just, he says, I've been playing around with this. Tell me what you think. And then it became this. That's good, man. (laughs) Even the beginning, it's like... Oh, it's 
so good. That's great. That's great. I think G- I don't know. G- is Graham Morley <laughs> on there? Maybe. Oh, Gee, Ash, maybe. I don't know who these wow. guys, who he said they were. I should know who they are, oh. because, anyways, a great that guy, good. and <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna mix it in, but I, I'm like, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. You know, that's that's some good friends there, man. Yeah, love Jay Beatty. Got a lot of time for that kid, man. Hmm. As I do for you, and I want to keep you. Uh, on time so uh i didn't give you a time but i think two hours is is pretty yeah. sufficient and thanks uh, for having me man oh you're welcome it's it's yeah. my pleasure and I, I appreciate your uh your uh grace and your generosity as far mm. as you know um, gladly i know we've kind of been kind of kicking this around for a couple yeah. months and trying to sew up a time yeah yeah and yeah. uh hey i found a hole in mm. your schedule and you're like Perfect. friday let's do, do it. it oh no oh, friday thursday. doesn't work thursday works yeah and um I'm going to continue to tell people that um, I heard you sing in the shower this week. Yeah, yeah you do that. <laughs> yeah. And then in the bathroom. You got any you get, yeah, yeah, you're here in the bathroom, too. Any gigs coming up um, so that we can support you taps. at? Taps. Uh, really? Yeah, but not, not – it's it's in the works. Oh, okay. It's in the works. I don't I don't have a date, but uh, he uh, he reached out to me and, and says he'd like to – Eric? Yeah, I think that's who it was. Eric Martin is the owner yeah. of Taps. Oh, wow. And uh, highly committed – to uh, I mean, local music doesn't put any money in your pocket no. when you own a bar Fair. like it really doesn't yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so it takes a, a, a an underlying commitment a you know unselfish Appreciate commitment that. i think Appreciate and that. uh of course he's in yeah. it to make money um but uh i i got a lot of time for eric as well um another guy maybe i should have on the show oh, well, i yeah. might have asked him he might have he might have said, "Yeah, I'm not the interview type of guy." Some uh, people just don't want to talk, right? Yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. They have they're fine to play on stage and stuff like that. Did you play at the warehouse at all? I have in the past. Yeah, I have in the past with Fat Moth. Yeah, and I uh, was Sarah. Um, yeah, but not not my own, not yet. Not yeah, yet. warehouse has got some of the. I think it's the best club in in the region. Mm. I mean, we've got some other uh, sanctuary is pretty good. Yes. The Ridgeway. Yes. 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 You guys know how to yes. run the board there. It's a yeah. beautiful room. It's a yes. hard room, a little bit if it's not if it doesn't have a lot of people in it. Okay. Okay. If okay. you get enough bodies in it, it softens up a little yep, bit. Yeah. Fair. Um, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that that warehouse, mm-hmm. man, those guys, I think they oh, built uh, it for sound, and oh. it's uh, you, it's hard space. to find a better sound. I mean, you take the yeah. pack and everything out of it. I think uh, club wise, mm-hmm. warehouse is is pretty much yep. And it's the right place here. to be. Right, right in town. Mm-hmm. Well, Wally Wemnitz. Yeah, I know. Amazing. Carpet market. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I tried to yep. sell that building a couple times when Wally was in business still. Larry is the owner there. A neat guy, too. And huh. His daughter took over there for a while, and then they just closed it up. And Yep. Time to, time to shut it down. Somebody else sold it. Mm-hmm. Damn it. <laughs> Anthony Sweet, I love you, man. Thanks, bud. Thank you very much. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure, and thank you for, again for your uh, generosity. AnthonySweet.com. Hit him up on fake book. Uh, he's not. You're not on Twitter, right? Eh? I look for you uh, on no, Twitter today. No, 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 I'm not on Twitter. Who needs I'm another not. social media? Oh account? man, I not a. I'm on Gab. <laughs> I'm uh-huh. on. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Yeah. yeah, I'm not not the best at that at the balance of of putting on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but who needs? Here it? I am. Sunday nights, St. Thomas nights. Church, That's right. 7 p.m. That's right. You start at 7, so yep. come about quarter come a little two. early, yeah. Yep. And do you have any plan? And check out uh, my video of Anthony just from my iPhone on a tripod, no recording mics or anything like that. Um, the acoustics in that place are just, mm. well, they're ungodly. <laughs> uh, it's in a church. Uh, yeah, St. Thomas uh, Church. Wow. Check that out. It's on my on the YouTube channel. And mm-hmm. uh, you got plans to do one of those events? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that one will come. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, brother. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah, lovely. Low battery. Let's see. Time that focus. Oh, man. Isn't that awesome? Two yeah. Two hours, four minutes.